This paper presents a new method for improving the stability of concentric tube robots. A concentric tube robot is made of pre-curved tubes in a highly elastic material. Rotating and translating the tube bases changes the robot shape through elastic interactions. Concentric tube robots are ideal for minimally invasive surgery as they are highly miniaturizable and stiff for their size, but their curvatures are limited by strain and stability limits. This video illustrates the stability problem. For certain designs and configurations, the robot rapidly transitions or snaps to a new configuration. For short and gently curved tubes, rotations input at the tube bases smoothly correspond to unique rotations at the tip. This results in a small workspace. If the curvature or length is larger, this expands the workspace, but the one-to-one -one relationship is broken, creating unstable configurations and a hole in the middle of the workspace. A well-known criterion for stability involves the tube's pre-curvature, length, and the ratio of flexural rigidity, EI, to torsional rigidity, GJ. Prior efforts to mitigate this problem have focused on modifying the curvature profiles, avoiding unstable configurations during control and planning, and structural tube modification to reduce EI over GJ. A variety of hole patterns have been laser cut into the tube walls to reduce flexural rigidity while attempting to preserve as much torsional rigidity as possible. This chart plots EI over GJ versus relative rigidity for many designs taken from the literature. Stiffness increases to the right and stability increases as you move downward, such that the lower right quadrant would contain the most desirable designs. The plot shows that reducing EI over GJ has always entailed a steep trade-off in stiffness. In fact, we can derive a performance bound, which reveals that the desirable quadrant is actually unachievable with existing structural methods. In this paper, we propose a new approach to stability improvement. The key is to allow direction-dependent flexural rigidity, also known as transverse anisotropy. We can achieve this by laser cut patterns that selectively weaken the flexural rigidity in one direction more than the other. We first generalize the concentric tube mechanics model to handle transversely anisotropic tubes. From this model, we derive a stability condition, which reveals the independent effects of EIX and EIY for the first time. It shows that weakening the flexural rigidity about the axis of pre-curvature improves stability quadratically and much more efficiently than symmetric reduction of EI. We designed a prototype with a pattern of cutout regions that reduces EIX more than EIY. All of the parametric designs that we studied resulted in tube pairs which exceeded the theoretical performance bound for all prior approaches and came close to a theoretical bound for anisotropic designs. Our prototype tubes were designed with equal stiffnesses and curvatures in the X direction, enabling the tubes to fully straighten. The stiffness in Y and in torsion were kept high, and the stability parameter is reduced by a larger factor than any of the individual stiffness reductions. To manufacture the tubes, we first laser machined the desired cut patterns, and then electrically heated the tubes to set their pre-curvatures. We experimentally measured the input-output curve and found it stable and well predicted by our generalized model. This tube pair would be unstable without the modification. The workspace of the tubes is continuous and well-conditioned. Such transversely anisotropic tube designs open the door to future applications with highly curved and dexterous robots.